Hello there, everybody. Welcome to the second episode of My Favorite Trip to the Movies, the uh, inter- the Zoom interview series where we uh, talk about our favorite uh, our movie theater experiences and the importance of group uh, storytelling and experience that, experiencing that with an audience. Um, so obviously, right now, it's not a a super good time to be, you know, experiencing art with groups of people. Uh, it's not the safe thing to do right now. We're all definitely very excited to be uh, to have that back for sure. Huge shout out to all the healthcare workers right now who are getting us through this difficult time. Um, today's guest is the one of the most uh, awesome designers and just awesome photographers. I have the honor of knowing my good friend, Nick Wenzel. How are you doing today, Nick? Hey, hey, good morning, Joey. What's going on? Good morning. Nick is coming live from uh, the state of Colorado. That's right. Yeah, so, good old Rocky Mountains out here. So yeah, it's just our uh, thank you for, uh, for, for being on the show today. So before we get into this, I just got to ask you, did, uh, did you get a chance to uh, see the trailer for Loki or just, or just like the, the, the beginning of it, the, the reference, a certain reference we both appreciate in that trailer? I did. Mm-hmm. And I'm really curious about what that show will be like. Uh, it's a show, right? It's like yeah. a, a series. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Really, really curious about that one. You know, I got to watch it. You know, yeah. I gotta- and yeah. for for all the viewers, uh, Nick and I have two connections with that trailer. One, uh, uh, Loki. Um, that was one of our Nick and I had had, had some fun memories with that character. Uh, but also, uh, Owen Wilson is one of Nick and I have just so much, so much. We love Owen Wilson, so it was super cool to see him in the trailer. Yeah, uh, I I was shocked to see Owen Wilson show up because I haven't seen him in anything in a very long time. And that was probably the least likely place uh, I could have pinned him on. <laughs> yeah, so I'm hoping, hoping this is like his, uh, like his Keanu Reeves, John Wick kind of role that really like, that renaissance, the, the Owen o- 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 around, Owen o- 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 renaissance. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Amazing. So, uh, sorry, I had, had to get that out of the way because I was like, I yeah. saw, but yeah, that trailer, I have no idea what's going to be going on with that show and I'm so excited. Mm-hmm. But anyways, all right. So Nick, what is, or what has been one of your favorite, uh, movie theater experiences? Favorite movie theater experiences. Um, I'm not going to give that title to any movie in particular, but I think speaking from, from the, the higher level there uh the moment after any given movie where we would all sort of congregate outside of the movie theater but just off to the side and then just start like speed reviewing you know uh i think that was my favorite part of that is my favorite part of watching movies with other folks and especially at the movie theater oh it perfectly said there's something totally like when you're like you know you're in that you know you're you're in the you're in that movie zone for a few hours and you walk outside and it's and it's, you know, the parking lots, you know, it's quiet, you know, mm-hmm. you know if it's late at night and you're just kind of just all discussing the movie. Yeah. Um, is there any, any movies particularly you, um, there's a few I have in mind that I do, I do remember that we were both there for, but, uh, yeah. anything in mind? um, that you and I saw together or just say, yeah, where any, uh, you know, for the, the last star Wars movie of, of the sequels going on here. That was a very memorable post movie discussion. Um, but no, I don't I don't know that I have any particular one in mind. I just like the idea that um, whenever that happened, it was like everything was so fresh and you were able to kind of really get a hold of how you felt about it, but it helps to distill those ideas with other people. That was my favorite part. Oh, it's absolutely I um before we uh, started this, I was thinking, I was trying to think of uh, movies we saw together. And one I always remember is when you, I think it was you and I and John, we saw Ant-Man and the Wasp. And you guys were just both talking about quantum, the quantumness of oh. this movie. <laughs> well, yeah, because like their scape, scapegoat for the movie was if if we need a plot point to work, just make it quantum. And then suddenly it works because no one's going to argue that, except John knew quite a bit about quantum stuff. And so... 
he was like wait a minute <laughs> i love it i was like that was, that was definitely a, that was definitely one of my favorite just kind of post uh analysis mm -hmm. in the parking lot yeah oh, oh and then um Another one we saw together. This is this is kind of a different type type of thing. I, something that was I'm, something that always memorable to me is when we saw Into the Spider Verse. Mm hmm. Because I mean, at the time it was getting great reviews, but I don't think we knew kind of like what it would become, and it just became this thing. You know, it's, it's just so cool to see. I don't remember your reaction, so you'll have to refresh my mind. But I just remember being totally blown away by that movie. Uh, everything from from the story to the voice acting, the sound design and the music, and don't even get me started on the animation style, the art direction. It was unbelievable that movie, and it still is. It's still one of the most fascinating movies I've ever seen. Yeah, like you said, I think we were talking about literally every frame of that movie you could you know put on your wall, and it'd be like a beautiful painting. Yeah, it's unbelievable that movie, and I'm so excited for a sequel. Uh, yes. I'm curious to know as well, you probably know a little bit more about the situation than I do. Do we think they'll ever bring in the MCU actors to the Spider-Verse as like a cameo? Because it's very meta, right? Like they kind of acknowledge themselves a bit. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw like uh, Tom Holland um, cameo or something. Yeah, they almost have to, especially with all the rumors with the next Spider, the live action Spider-Man movie with all of them possibly like they almost like or even because I don't I don't want them to take away from because those I love how those films are miles like kind of he's the main character. Mm -hmm. And I would I don't want like the the MCU stuff to take over from that. But even just a yeah. cameo would be really cool. And like, I mean, if especially with the increased popularity that uh, uh, that we both definitely have seen. Um, to it, it, a Tobey Maguire thing would get... Oh my God, I would die. <laughs> so, I mean, the, I mean, I think, I do think we're getting a somewhat a little bit of that in the live action one. Mm -hmm. I mean, not that it's confirmed yet, but it definitely seems like it's going that way. So if they yeah. kind of bring that into the animated one, like, oh my gosh, like so awesome. Even if, and this is all hypothetical, <laughs> like let's say they're traveling through space time, whatever, <laughs> goofy, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Even if for just a moment they ended up with Toby, I would die. It's almost it. It has to happen. It's inevitable. Yeah, I would love that. That would be that's like that would be movie of the year for me. <laughs> um, and I do uh, another thing from Spider. Like um, this is totally unrelated to the movie itself. But I remember one of my favorite trailer reactions is they showed that trailer before Spider Verse. That literally, I think it was the movie, not a, not um. A dog, not a dog's purpose. It was a dog's journey. Uh huh. And they literally, I remember they showed the whole movie in that trailer. And you and I oh, were just yeah. like, <laughs> that, that was that movie about the lost dog or whatever, right? Yeah. And it looked like a really sweet movie. And I was like, but yeah, they ruined the whole movie in the trailer prior to that. And we were like, well, it would have been cool to go see that, except yeah. now we've seen it. So forget yeah, about I mean, it. That's something we haven't seen in a while, probably. I mean, you watch movie trailers, I'm sure, all the time. Mm -hmm. But isn't there something special about when you're in the theater and there's all those, like, pre-movie trailers and, like, the uh, a movie being revealed to you at the theater like that? Oh, perfect. Yeah, absolutely. Because, yeah, like you said, there are some movies that you would not have known about previously. And, it's like unless you're really kind of just, you know, on YouTube and kind of clicking on every trailer, which is, you know, you're not going to be doing that all the time, but in movie theater, yeah, you'll, you'll see something like the dogs. I don't like dog's journey. I don't think we would have seen that trailer unless we were at the theater that day. No, I wouldn't click on that thumbnail. <laughs> um, yeah. And it is like experience that. And so I do want to get back into that. We're going to jump right back in it, but really quick, a little um, favorite movie theater concession items all right two mm -hmm. one bunch of crunch plus popcorn you can't have them independent of each other you need the bunch of crunch with the popcorn uh something about like that sweet salty chocolate butter thing going on like the way that they complement each other unbelievable flavor and like that is the the flavor of movies to me in addition uh cherry coke like the fountain drink cherry coke something about that just hits different at the movie theater 
Oh, absolutely. I was hoping that second one would be on there. I was like, yeah, yeah. it's gotta be. Um, and, uh, but the first one though, like you said, yeah, every, like so many movie theaters I've been to, it is, they do kind of, they, they, like you walk in and you, it kind of smells like that combination of popcorn and also a bunch of crunch. I think that like, yeah, I think that's like the perfect movie theater just goes with it so well. And I don't know what it is. I'm sure there's some sort of logic, but man, like the flavor of that just tastes so good. Like you need them together and it just makes this whole complete package. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Totally well said. And on that note about Cherry Coke, local sh- shout out to our, uh, to our local Chicago cinema chain, Classic Cinemas. They have some of the best yeah. Cherry Coke ever. Mm-hmm. Um, yep. Tastes way different than like the can that you buy, but it's just awesome. That's like, you got to get it. Mm-hmm. Their fountain syrup ratio is so good. Um now, kind of what you were saying about the trailers, I think it definitely really um, go into this next question really well. Um, now what is the importance of kind of experiencing art, you know, movie, th- not just movies, but also kind of art in general with a with an audience? Ooh, that's a tough one. Um, when you first say that, I think of the folks who are like, I don't like watching movies with people because they talk, but. I think that's what the theater sort of alleviates, right? I'm, I'm one of those people. Like if, I, if I'm allowed to talk during a movie, I really want to, but like the, the theater keeps you in check uh, just from that standpoint. Aside from that, I would just say that, uh, you know, these, there's a whole uh, group of people in this industry who are responsible for fine tuning this movie to look and sound its best with all of the best possible scenarios. And that would mean having beautiful surround sound and a big screen that's like, you know, calibrated to, to be visually correct as far as it was designed. And so I would say being in the theater and experiencing that with people, having those moments like we've talked about before, where you're going and you're talking about it afterwards, or if a movie's really effective, you know, experiencing those really visceral moments of a movie with other people uh, means a lot more. Um, Just think about the times where like you're in the theater and there's that joke that totally hits when at the time that you saw the theater and the whole theater sort of erupts in laughter. You don't get that on your couch, especially alone, you know? So I think just, that invisible connection you have emotionally with everybody while you're there that is driven further by you know the production techniques that you're experiencing that you only experience at a theater uh really make it something so much more special right not everybody of course has a theater like experience at home even if you feel like you do yeah, that was so, so unbelievably well said. And kind of your first point about like, um, like, especially, obviously, right now, um, um, the HBO Max thing, which is causing a lot of, um, like, mm-hmm. putting these movies on streaming right now, it makes sense. Like, you can't, you, it's the only, like, it's, they have, it makes sense with what's going on right now, obviously, like, you can't, you just mm-hmm. don't know. But at the same time, also, like, you do want, like, there's some of those filmmakers are, like they do they would rather wait until after until like until you know you can release the movies again more more with like uh more people can you know feel safer going and mm-hmm. i think uh, denis uh, villanova with dune he said like he, and you may have seen this but he fine-tuned every like, sound and image in that movie to be seen on the biggest screen possible yeah and so um it kind of like, really corresponds well with what you said about how you know these directors they yeah, I think you, you could experience all of that the best way when you're at the theater, for sure. And I think you're absolutely right, too, in that um, it makes sense now, right? Mm-hmm. And I don't blame folks for releasing movies right mm-hmm. now, uh, especially because you kind of have to, right? Like, you yeah. spend however many millions of dollars making these mm-hmm. movies and stuff. I would just say that uh, there's nothing stopping anybody from re-releasing in theaters, right? So... That's something I would like to see is is um, when it is safe, when it is possible, why not re-release even for short runs some of these movies that are only streaming 
and uh, be able to experience it in the way that it was intended, you know? Oh yeah, ab- absolutely. And even like, not, not to like, I'm trying to give a different, I'm trying to give an example here. Ooh, um, like, um, yeah, like Wonder Woman 1984 right now, which, you know, if in normal times, it would get a huge opening weekend. It would be, you know, talk like so many people could see it and enjoy it in the, in the best format possible. And mm-hmm. right now that's just not possible. Right. And I really hope it, cause that like, you know, that's, you know, the first one was such a good movie and the second one looks to be so awesome. That really does. I think that deserves like a normal theatrical release. And I hope we get does come back eventually. Mm-hmm. I mean, it is out technically and where theaters are open right now, but I mean, it's just, yeah. Um, right. It's not the same. Yeah, absolutely not. Uh, while we're, while we're uh, pitching movies here that we do, we'd like to see that uh, soul when that comes out on Christmas on yes. Disney plus, mm-hmm. I will be watching that. But if they put that in theaters, when it's safe, I would 100% go to see that again. Uh, that's one that I've been, you know this, I've been like hyped for that since the trailer came out. Yes. You were, you, you and I, I were talking about that like back when like we were, I think it was supposed to come out in June. We're like, can't wait for June for this to come out. Yeah. I remember you told, yeah, you, we think we watched the trailer at a McDonald's. Yeah. Well, I'm just such a sucker for those uh, mm-hmm. Pixar movies. I, I can't think of many Pixar movies that I don't like. And so as soon as this one came out, it's got that jazz thing going on. I'm all about that. And just the visual fidelity of it. Um, I don't know if you've like really taken a look at the trailers, but the way that the characters in the world look so detailed, so cool. Oh, it looks so animation is incredible. And I do think it's going to be like, Cause, I mean, I like you said, all Pixar movies are usually awesome, but there's usually kind of those two tiers. There's like the franchisey Pixar films, and there's like the inside outs, the ups, the ones that like mm. that could very well be their own franchises, but they kind of I think they have that kind of like because they are standalone, they kind of have a little bit more of like that a little bit. Um, there's a lot more like a little bit of heart to them, especially like, um, well, I guess the original Toy Story, like all the original ones have their own heart, but you kind of like, mm-hmm. but anyways, um. So I think definitely will be in that kind of inside out up category, yeah. like really like hits you in the heart. Oh yeah. Especially given how the trailers look and the music sounds great. I'm just so pumped. Yeah. So it's pumped. December 25th on Disney plus. That's going to be exciting. I'm so excited to watch too. Mm-hmm. Well, I think that's uh, the show. Um, nice. So before we get to the, uh, the, the uh, official, have a good have a good rest of the day everybody um any um so nick has a website you should definitely check out he also has an awesome design uh uh social media account you should check out uh, any other just uh i'll post those links for sure but any any other things you'd want to promote or those things are kind of add on to what i said uh for myself no i would just say uh this holiday season look out for folks you know if you if you have stuff that you're passionate about, make sure you're supporting it and take care of each other. Exactly. That is so, so well said. Just all take care of each other. We'll all get through this. Um, thank you to all the healthcare workers right now, sincerely. Like, I mean, the fact we even get to be talking about like our favorite movie theater experiences is like, like just, just we're just very grateful because like, it's so awesome. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, Nick, thank you so much again for being on the show. Of course, man. Anytime. Always a pleasure. (laughs) All right. Have a good rest of your night or day. That's the morning we're filming this. (laughs) You too, Joey. Take it easy, bud. All right. Bye, Nick.